Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Abigail, a girl who was the most imaginative person I ever met. She was friendly and funny. She loved playing around with her toys, and she loved to draw pictures. She loved dancing. She loved listening to music. And the most important thing of all, a very, very good friend. In this story, I'm about to show you the true meaning of friendship. Now, how's my special little girl doing today? I had the perfect sleep, Mom. Great. What did you dream of? I had a dream of me as a very beautiful princess. I am Princess Abigail, and where is my Prince Charming? I'm right here, my beautiful princess. Oh. Well, that sounds like a good dream. And who is this Shane? Is he a boy in your classroom? <laughs> Maybe. Alrighty. Well, don't be bringing no boys up in here. You're a little too young to have a relationship. Yes, Mom. Now, are you ready for school? Most definitely. All right, Abigail, behave yourself. All right, Mom. All right, Abigail, make sure you got your seatbelt on. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after. All right, class, well, now it's time for recess. Make sure you all behave yourselves and no fighting. Hey, Abigail, you okay? How do you like school so far? Great. But I heard elementary school is much worse. Yeah, I know my dad told me he had put a pickle in my teacher's coffee mug once. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What is this thing? It looks like some type of magical book. So Abigail, how was school today? And what is that thing glowing in the back of the car? Oh, um, yeah, Dad, I thought I seen something too, but it might just be the police or something. Honey, I don't know. But I seen Abigail with a book glowing in the back of my car. A magical book? Where did she find this magical book? I don't know. But we need to make sure no stupid shit happens in this house and make sure our daughter is safe. All right. So everything seems quiet. You go check on Abigail. While I watch the hallways. Abigail, are you okay? Because we have to talk. Your dad and I are worried. Talk about what? Listen, Abigail. Your father told me that he's seen a magical book in the car. Abigail, are you sure that your father is telling the truth about this? Because right now he is going crazy and I don't know what to say about this. Okay, so I found this book, but it's not magic. It has a glowing toy inside the book. You mind if I see the glowing toy? All right, well, I'll just tell your father. So that thing that was glowing in Abigail's book was a glowing teddy bear. A glowing teddy bear? Well, I guess she should be fine then. I think we should both get some rest then. Because I don't know about you, but I am tired. Hey, how you doing? My name is Lusso. What's yours? Hey, now, I wasn't trying to scare you, but I wanted to tell you I came here by mistake. It must have been that book. Wait, 
So you mean to tell me that that book of yours is the reason why I'm here? Yeah, I had been playing with it and it brought you here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. You seem like a very cool individual. Why don't we hang out for a bit? Okay. So I am from a place where a lot of monsters live. And it's a very, very cool place. Maybe you could visit it one day. Geez, Lazo, I don't know if we could do it because my dad is strict, so maybe I could sneak and do it? Well, I wouldn't want you to get in trouble with your dad. Right? Yeah, by the way, my name is Abigail. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Say, so why don't we go inside for a bit? It's freezing. So, Abigail, I was wondering, you got any hobbies? I like to draw. You got any artwork you could show me? Okay, that's what's up. I like the potential. I like to dance too. You got some good dance moves, Abigail. Maybe when you get older, you could become a dancer. Yeah, hopefully. Well, Abigail, I wish I could stay here a little longer. But sadly, I can't. I gotta go back home. Well, I'm going to miss you then, Luzzo. Hopefully we can get to see each other again if the book works. Yeah, hopefully the book works. But if it does, we can hang out all night long. All right, Abigail. Hopefully we can see each other again. You take care now.